Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I wanted to start out by giving a shout out to the Oklahoma Senior Journal. If you are in Oklahoma and you are a senior citizen or you have a business that helps senior citizens, reach out to them. They are amazing. They've been in business for 27 years and they are just out to help senior citizens, which is an amazing feat. They have events, they have a magazine, they have a radio show, so their link will be in the description of this video as well as a link to their YouTube channel if you want to see some of the videos of events that they have going on. So thanks Oklahoma Senior Journal for everything that you're doing for the senior community. Let's get on with the video. Today we're going to be going over how to create a registration link for your Zoom meeting. So your registrants can get an email and a calendar invite and reminders for your event. So on a Mac computer, you're going to go ahead and open up Zoom. You go into the launch pad and go to Zoom. If you're on a Windows computer, you would simply go to the start menu and open up Zoom. In the top right of the Zoom window, you've got settings. Go ahead and click on that, and then you click on the View More Settings button. That is a link that is going to open up Zoom in your browser. If you've never logged into Zoom in your browser before, it is going to ask you to do so now. So once you've logged in to your Zoom browser, you're going to go over here to Meetings. And then when you go to Meetings, you're going to be greeted with Upcoming, Previous, Personal Room, and Meeting Templates. Go ahead to the far right where it says Schedule a Meeting. Click on that. Now it's going to give you the option to schedule a meeting. You go ahead and name the meeting. We'll call this one Test Meeting. We will say that this is a test. We're going to go ahead and keep the same date and schedule it for four. It's a random time. And then down here is the important part, Registration. You're going to go ahead and click Required. When you do that, it's going to change it from a personal meeting to automatically generated. I'm going to go ahead and remove the passcode simply for the sake of this video, but you're going to want to leave your passcode active. Now we're going to scroll down, and then do we want video for the host when they join? Yes. Participants? Yes, because that's the purpose of a Zoom call, be able to see each other and talk. You've got other meeting options here. If you want everyone muted when they come in, for example, you can do that. Uh, and then also down here, you can have approve or block someone based on their specific country or region. So if you can only do business in the, in the U.S. and that's what your meeting is about, go ahead and restrict it to the U.S. and click Save. Then you can go down here and click Save for the meeting. And now you've got your Google Calendar link here, Outlook, and Yahoo. You also have your registration link. You can click Copy Invitation here on the right that will allow you to paste this registration link into anything you would like to use it in. And let's say Facebook, you create an event, you need a URL, use that URL. Same thing in LinkedIn, if you're going to send someone a personal message, send that link so they can register. Then as we scroll down to the bottom, we've got registration options. So if you click edit, to the far right, this is where you can add questions that you would want your registrants to answer before joining your meeting or before registering for the meeting. So you can go into questions and it you know requires uh, the first last name and email. First name and email are required. Last name is selected by default. So you can go ahead and select and require any of these preset questions. Also you could go over to customize questions and you can make your own. So we will say phone number. I want them to provide their phone number when they register so I know who I'm dealing with and yes I want it to be required. Um, I could also say how did you hear about our event? We can make this a single answer and then we can put in options for people to pick from from a drop down menu. So you can put Facebook, maybe LinkedIn, and let's say a direct message. And you click create. You could add something like who referred you. A 
And then for that, we don't want that to be required. Maybe nobody referred them and they just found out on Facebook or LinkedIn and they just want to join your meeting. And we click create that question and now we can save all. Now, we'll go ahead and take a look at what the registration page looks like. So if you post this on social media or send it to someone, they click on it, this is what they're going to be greeted with. You know, the topic of the meeting, and then the description. They need to put their name and email address in. How'd you hear about our event? Drop down menu. Facebook, LinkedIn, direct message. Who referred you? you can go ahead and type it if you have anything, but only the things with this little red star are required. Then they would register. They'd be registered for your meeting. And then back at your Zoom settings, down here under Manage Registrants, you would see a one. You would also be able to go to View and see who registered and when. So you could see how effectively posting to Facebook or posting to LinkedIn works as far as time frame is concerned. But once you've done that, now you would have a meeting. If you click on Meetings again, if you ever went back to this page, you would see that you have this meeting scheduled for whatever time you had, the meeting ID, which is randomly generated. And then you could start it by either clicking Start, or if you've put it on your own calendar, you would just be able to click on the calendar uh, on the Zoom link that Zoom put into your calendar. And you being the one that set it up will be the one who opens the meeting. So thanks a lot, guys. Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. I'm going to continue to make more content to help make your life easier. Thanks, guys.